Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a twisted updo hairstyle for a fairy doll. If you are new to my fairy tutorials, welcome. And if you've already subscribed and you're familiar with my fairies, welcome back. And we will be doing another fun updo for a fairy doll. I've already done a braided version of this. I personally feel that the twisted version is a little bit harder but I wanted to give you both options so you can decide for yourself. As I've said many times, I feel that doing the hair for the fairies is probably the hardest, but if you just practice and you're very patient, you can do some fun different hairstyles for your fairy doll. So let's grab a few simple supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a basic fairy doll body, and you'll notice here that I haven't used the thread to twist on the color for her skin yet. I just have the twisted wire that I formed into the shape of a body with her hair. You can learn how to do this by clicking on the link in the corner that will take you to my basic fairy doll tutorial. Then you'll need a glue gun and I have mine set on low. I would highly recommend using a glue gun set on low. It's just easier to work with the glue in this tutorial. Now the first step is to find um, the middle. Just go to the top of the of your doll and you're going to find that little part of wire at the top and I part her hair and split it in half there and then push her little wooden the little wooden bead down and what we're going to do is decide which is the front and which is the back of your doll and you're going to put a dab of glue on the back of your doll right at the top right by her hair and that little piece of wire put the dab of glue and then push the little wooden bead up so it's nice and snug, and what this will do is the glue will help hold the wooden bead in place so it doesn't slide around. Okay, now you can see I've got this big loop of thread here. We're actually not going to cut that loop. We will cut this little straggly piece of thread off. Just set that aside, we'll be using it later. And in this tutorial, you'll be doing a lot of smoothing of the thread. So decide which is the front, and I will be working on from the left to the right on my doll. So the first step is to smooth the side on the left and we're going to be gluing down the side of it. So I start to smooth it down, kind of place where I want it to be. And I'm working with the back of my doll right now. So she's, her, the front is facing down and now she's facing front. And you can see I'm just smoothing that hair down and I just added a little dab of glue to hold that into place. Then I'm flipping her face down again and we're going to be taking that left side of the hair and looping it all the way around to the right side. So work slowly with small dabs of glue and smooth as you go. And I just will add a little dab of glue and then I will gently press the thread into the glue. And so you can see we're going to be looping it all the way up and around. So we've taken the side on the left and we're looping it up and around. And then once again, just to get it to hold into place, I work in small sections, glue a little bit, gently press the thread down, and smooth it down. And then we've gotten all the way back up to the top. So you can see this creates a nice, smooth um, base for our twisted hairstyle. So we've simply taken the piece on the left and looped it up and around, just gently tacking it into place in the back with the glue. Okay, once we've reached the top again, we're going to start gently twisting the hair. So here she is in the front, and you can see we've, we haven't even touched the side on the right. We've left that alone. We've only been working with the side on the left. And now we're going to take it, and before I start twisting it too much, I'm just going to take a little piece and kind of glue it down on the side. So flatten it down a little bit and then gently twist it. And once you have it twisted, add a little dab of glue. And same method, just working with a little bit of the thread at a time in small sections. So I've twisted that first little part of her bun, put a dab of glue, gently press the thread into the glue. And so we're kind of taking this piece of thread and looping it around in a spiral on the back of her head. And then I'm just going to go all the way around again and back up to the top. So at this point, we'll have looped it around the back of her head twice. Okay. 
Okay, so once you've reached the top again, we're going to twist it some more. And we're actually going to press it into the center of this little bun that we've created for. So I put a big dab of glue kind of in the center there. And I'm going to twist it tightly. Press it down firmly. And press with my fingernail the hair into the center of the little bun that we've created. Now smooth that piece out and we're going to trim it off as close to her bun as possible. So you'll have this little straggly piece of hair poking out. Not to worry, we will cover that up. Now we'll be working with the hair on the right side and you'll want to smooth that out gently just like we did on the other side. And I'm just going to gently twist back a little piece of, a little section of that hair right to meet right where the bun starts, just to kind of frame her face in nicely. And then I like to twist mine down. And instead of twisting it up and around and looping it, I twist it down and then I'm going to put a small dab of glue and start to twist it up. So we're almost going in the opposite direction. We want to cover up that little section of scruffy hair that we had cut off. And so, almost like a French twist, I'm going to smooth it out and when I get it to the top, take a piece, that piece of the thread that we cut off at the beginning, that's where this comes into play, and trim that off. And I just tie a very tightly that piece of hair and then when you trim it, it's not going to come undone because we've tied it. Then I like to take my glue gun put a dab of glue on the end of the hair, let it set for a second so you don't burn yourself. And if you kind of pinch it together, it holds all of those ends together. And then I'm going to take that little end that, I, that has the glue on it and tuck it under at the very top of her bun, just creating this loopy, twisty updo. And that's it guys, you're all set. One thing you'll find with this, the more you practice, the easier it gets. I always start my fairies out the same, looping it around the side of her head and into a bun, and then taking that other side and wrapping it back. You'll find that um, they turn out different every time. Sometimes the thread likes to twist more one way than another, but I love how unique they turn out and this is definitely a hairstyle that just takes some practice. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Please check out some of my other fairy doll tutorials. I have a lot of other fun how-tos and tutorials on my website, untidyartist.com. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be amazing and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.